I seen it. I seen an alpha right over here. Is it that same one? Oh, they don't like me. They don't like me. Oh, he's so pretty. Oh crap, he's hitting me. What's up, guys? Thanks for joining us again for another episode of Ark Survival. Something Games. invisible over here. It's on fire. On, on the Eternal Ark server, playing with our ISO Crystal Isles map. And uh, trying to do some taming with Boomin. Uh, we were out in the desert area and we saw a Prime Mantis that I liked level wise. He was like 580. So he knocked it out and we tamed that. And then. Graboy Deathworm. I want to get a uh, poison tapajara, and we seen one out there. So that's where I'm headed now is to meet Boomin out there, so we can tame up that poison tapajara. I think I'm gonna go ahead and take the. I think I'm gonna take the the poison pterodon here, Rhonda. Oh, if you didn't, I don't know if I covered this yet, but I made a platform for the flyers to get them off the ground there. And so, there's an eco mod that does this, and I'll cover that in a second. A Boomin started building him a little separate base. I'm going to take this over and build my own little base. But let's get out there and find Boomin so that we can uh, get that thing tamed. Let's see. What was that, uh, Deathworm you saw? That's an invisible one. I don't know. It's called a Graboid Deathworm. Like, I can't see it. It's just all flamey. Oh, okay. I'm heading out there. I'm going to kill it. I'm heading out that way anyway, now. My guy's not that strong that I'm bringing. I brought the poison pterodon. Mine's not right, that strong either. Mine's only doing like 1500 damage. Yeah. Take it forever. That, where are you at? I see that 500 tapajara. I'm a little you? bit further on the same island. Go off to the lower. To the right a little bit. Or... To the right a little bit. It's got dark sand or whatever next to you? Oh, wait. I see uh, it. I see you. Somewhere around there. Yeah, I see you. I hit it. I'm just gonna go in there and peck. I don't see it doing any damage to me. I was trying to just keep my distance just in case. It's hard to see where it's at. What was it? A graboid deathworm. Oh yeah, graboid deathworm. That's weird. It's got anything cool in the back? Uh, I don't know. Let me look. No, not really. No. Some black Some pearls. Some black pearls. Deathworm. Yeah. Standard stuff. That was just weird. I don't know why he was invisible. I don't know. That's weird. Let me see if I can get this okay, 500 real quick. 500? Uh, yeah, You're 500. You're nothing. You're nothing. Die. How much topo did this thing have? Was it 80? 86. So 86. So that's going to be like three hits for me. This guy. He's over the damn water. Get back on land. There he goes. He's down. It was only two hits. Alright. Anything around me gonna bite my butt? No, it doesn't look like it. Alright. So level 500. 86,000 health. Uh, I'm gonna do that real quick. And E. It's got 7,500 carry weight at this level. Okay. So it's 8 out of 749. 129,600 health, 8,640 8, weight, 735 melee, and 136 and a half movement speed. That tends to be standard with the flyers that aren't uh, the, uh, the dragons or whatever. You know that? I'll see this start off at like 136.5. Alright. I need to get a saddle for this thing. I'm gonna make a saddle. Do I need a? Do you remember what we needed for that? I don't remember all the damn. For the temperature? Yeah, I know we need a uh, cement and paste, don't we? 
I really don't know offhand. I'm gonna fly back. I'm gonna fly back and I'll come back out because I want to level this guy and uh, get him kind of OP. What did your star level out at? Do you remember? Was it six or seven? Really don't remember. All right, Roger that. I want to say it was like six or seven, easily. Somewhere around there. I've had him for a couple of days now. Your backup is uh, 671, and that one was higher, so. It had to be a I haven't place. leveled the backup at all yet, so it doesn't matter tamed out at about 700 Seven or or eight. something. Yeah. Let's see. All right, so no, I've got everything. It's easy. Thought it was more to it than that. It's pretty simple. Uh, he's not an alpha or anything like that. It just needs a regular saddle. Yeah, I'm about to upgrade mine or try. Yeah, that's what I did. I need ingots. Oh, idiot! I accidentally salvaged it. <laughs> Uh, amazing. Some... Well, I f for some reason I was thinking it had the the pool resource like the Espo stuff, and so not even reading, I just clicked it to to do that and uh, salvaged it. So upgrade, upgrade. Can we do one more? Yes, now we have an ascendant one. Nice. Alright. And. Metasil. Why do I have this prime in my inventory? Hey! Mm -hmm. When did I get that? Are you killing stuff? I got an eternal helmet with 10,000 armor. No, oh, 1,000 armor, sorry. I got an oh. eternal helmet that looks like the mana core. Yeah, that's I what I got. I got a mana core helmet item skin. Yeah, same. I wonder if we got that for killing that uh that death worm. That's possible. And I told you about the alpha flat gauntlets that I got. Yep. From killing uh it looked like it was just a regular elemental regular elemental terror bird, but all right, let's get all that on there. I don't, don't need all this. All right, I got me some more tame so in case I need it. Let's see how this guy's speed is. Ooh, it's poo. Oh, I had an XP potion. Or did you use it? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I had found an. I killed something and I got an XP potion. That was a drop. Let me see if I threw it on the internal. I may have used it. I don't know. I don't see it anymore. It was like pinkish or reddish. I probably did. You know, biggie. I yeah, should kill some stuff. Did she now? Yeah, let me go grab them garments. Let me go look at that real quick. I'm going to fly back out there and kill some more stuff. Or I could make my ghillie suit. I think I have enough organic polymer. I could do that real fast. Yeah, I did the ghillie suit and upgraded it all the way. But you gotta keep a lot of organic polymer on hand because you need it to repair it. Well, that's nothing. You can just go out to the desert and kill. Man, mm -hmm. But pretty much every piece I have is over 3,500 armor. That might be why you're, uh... You're surviving... The eels and the eels. Yeah. Possibly. Alright, so we're gonna make this stuff. We're gonna make us the eternal, not the eternal, uh, the ghillie suit that's part of the eternal craftsman bench here. Uh, what am I missing? Should have plenty of these. Oh, I need some fiber. Okay, let's get some fiber. 
fiber, fiber, fiber. Like so. And over there, and craft, and armor. Gilly. Hey, I need two of them red crystals that you just took. Something <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't see it. <laughs> Uh, I just threw out the ones that I collected <laughs> on the table. <laughs> and all the other ones I've been collecting have been thrown on the table. I just need two to make my chest plate. Nah, I'm coming back. I got 14. But I had collected uh, like a bunch of them earlier. I had like freaking 60 of them. But I used a bunch for my suit and then upgrading it. So I can't yeah. get like 30 of them that I left over here. I wasn't stealing from you. I just was trying to recover what was mine. Well, you apparently was stealing from me because I threw mine on there and you took all of them. <laughs> I brought them back. I just needed <laughs> enough for me. <laughs> I'm down. It'll be all right. Nah, it's fine. I'm going to get a bunch more when I go out there and start killing stuff. Grab that. I call it compensation from when you punched me in my face earlier. You punched me back, so you can't run that argument by me. Yeah, but you deserved it. Uh, I don't believe. Yes. No. Let's see. Let's see if I can upgrade everything once. Oh, I need polymer. I need more polymer. <laughs> How much you came back with? Oh, I got plenty. I'm still sitting at right around 1800. I only killed That's two nothing. mantises out there. That's nothing. I only killed two mantis while I was out there. And then I wanted to tame. So. Upgrade, upgrade. Oh, lag. Crap. I need to go kill some stuff. Upgrade. I need more crystals. Upgrade. Time for me and the bear to go for an adventure. I might fly back out there and see what else they got to uh, kill slash tank. That might be what I'll do. Well, at least everything's apprentice now. Let me see if I can upgrade further. Everything's journeyman. Uh oh, look out. Alright. Mastercraft. Oh, yeah. So we fully ascended now. Let's get this out of here. So now full ascendant gilly. So what was all the perks of these things here? They uh armor. Disperse heat, mm -hmm. good armor, and make you harder to spot. Okay. Yeah. Alright, that's cool. Yeah, heat cool, make you harder to spot. That's about it really. But they got a lot of armor once you upgrade them. Yeah, I fully ascended mine. Total armor Ten. is 26,733. Oh, you did better than me. I'm only at 23,000. So. That's cool. Uh, 709 hypo and 958 hyper. Let me look at my character. I'm only at 367 hypo and 566 hyper. Yeah, so I got better thermals than you do. But you got better armor. That's how it always is. You got to trade off. Hmm. Okay, better figure out a name for this guy. Actually, let's see. What can we call you? 
All right, I think I think I have a name for this guy. We're gonna call you, call him Goblin. That's what we're gonna call him. Green Goblin. Yes. All right, I found a name for my tapa jar. It's called the oh, Green yeah. Goblin. <laughs> Oldie so, but a goodie. Let's see. There's no X. And that's the laser beam. The laser beam's not showing up on my screen for some reason. It keeps doing that. It'll show up for a little bit and then it'll uh, not show up. But I'm kind of curious as to what kind of topar I'm doing with this guy. Um, these all have crap topar. I know all. Yeah, he's down already and dead. Uh, let's see, I was 734 with a beam. Let's see. So 1100 with a peck. <laughs> See if I can't find something with high topar to test that out on him. What are you guy? Uh, 140. All right, so let me find something with high topar so we can test out the topar ability on this guy, and then I'll be our beast. And we're bad guys, so we're out here in the desert where they got a lot of. Uh, High level bad hombres on here, and we want to want to test this guy's topar and what he does as far as topar damage. So this guy's got 475,672 topar. So what we're gonna do is we'll go down there, we're gonna peck it one time, and see what his regular peck attack does for topar damage. One time, get out. I have to check real quick because topar drops really fast on these guys. So that looked like over 30,000. Yeah, 32, 33. Probably about 33 is the highest I saw at that point there when I did that one. So we're going to let it go all the way down. And then we're going to hit him with the laser beam or the the laser beam poison attack that he just got has. And let it do a full laser beam and then check what Topar is going to be. So that's going to be our right click. And these guys can fly backwards too, like the... Uh, the other, I think the other poison one can fly backwards. So I know the alpha can for sure. So let's go up a little bit and we'll go right above him and laser beam him. So it stops. Alright. Let's just back up a little bit. Let's hit that three button. Oh, he's. Is he out? Can't be out. He is out. So that whole laser beam did over 475,000 topar on the. Uh, Alpha Mantis right here, so that's a ton of Topar, and it did it real fast. So, wow, that's amazing. <laughs> uh, how much health this guy had? He has a lot of health, I believe. Yeah. Oh, I got another Alpha on me. Do this real fast. Go ahead and knock him out. I need organic polymer from these guys anyway, so so we're going ahead and uh possibly kill this guy should get a lot of levels by doing it I wonder if this guy can attack from the ground yeah he can attack from the ground so let's just blast him that's a ton I don't know how many 734s that is but that's a ton right there each time can I see how much damage this guy's got done how much uh, health he's got left now uh, 8 4 8 30 so let's let's check that since we're doing that that's one cycle that we're going to check real quick on him. So it's about 84,000. Now he's down to 59. So that's 34,000 damage. And I haven't pumped any melee into this guy yet. With all that stuff stacking plus the initial 1,000 that he does. You see he should die now after this one. Or be close if not dead. Uh, 8,000. So yeah, one more. Two... We'll just do regular pick attacks. I thought it might be faster. Blast him. I can't blast while I got the magnifying glass because I got the magnifying glass on my three button. And uh, when you have it out, he wants to zoom in and you can't zoom in. So 
We got a thousand organic polymer from that. And I should have got some good levels too while I was at it. And that's, I need organic polymer, yes, but I also need levels. And I've only pumped one tick in the health. He went from just under 130,000 to 136,000. So we got about a little over 6,000, close to 7,000 health with a uh, one click. So yeah, it's one thirty one four three five. That's right at seven thousand. So seven thousand health per tick. I did pump movement speed from the one thirty six off to two fifty nine. He's quite agile now, as you can see. He works fine with me speed wise. This is fine. I don't want to go too crazy, but if you're on the surface, uh, it goes by a little bit faster. Being in the air, it doesn't seem like it's going as fast, but. See, we're catching up to these guys. We'll fly by them. But we can fly around this map quite quickly with this speed. I'm fine with that. And then if we check melee, I haven't touched it. I did pump weight up to 16,000. I'm going to get that up to 20,000. So um, I could pump melee, but I kind of want to use this guy as a taming guy. I mean, 400,000 topar, that's a lot of topar. If I pump melee, I think it's going to increase that topar. Plus, I'm going to be doing a lot more damage. I don't, I don't know if I want to pump melee. You know what? Let's get this guy. Let's pump health on this guy. Let's get him pretty strong. We'll do that first, and then we'll contemplate whether we're going to pump some melee into him. I may, I may pump melee in him. I don't know. I could pump melee into this guy because I do have the other pterodon that does a lot of topar if I want to tame something that wasn't elite and I didn't want to worry about doing too much damage to it so we'll pump melee on this guy let's see what are you 140 Loby. let's go ahead and nuke him can we nuke him? I need to get crystals anyway and I think you get them from uh yeah you get these from the elemental guys and so I need to do that. Uh, I could fight those guys. The prime mantises are out here too. We found one of those and we tamed one of those up for me. I did that off camera, but and then I saw this guy, so I had to tame him. So that's what led to this adventure. I think I'm really hurt. It seems like I'm really hurt, but I'm not because uh, I just pumped all that health into him. Let's go ahead and just keep nuking him. We did come across some death worms out here. They have the big green serpents in this area that I've come across and have had bad experiences with in the past. I can show you all those. They also have what looks like to be the scorched earth drakes in this area. The old elemental, I mean just regular lightning, poison, and fire drakes. So let me get this. I'm going to nuke both these guys because the organic pile would be nice to have. I can put it in the freezer and it's just ridiculous timers in that freezer. I'll show you that when we get back to the base. Come on. Alright. Alright, that guy's nuked. That's a lot of chitin. So this guy's going to be good at harvesting things that we need because he can just knock anything out and then just kill them really fast. I wonder how many levels I'm gonna get for killing these two. I mean, you get a lot of a lot, a lot of levels when you kill the alphas in the prime. So, let's see how many levels I got just from killing these two alphas and that one elemental terror. Was it? A was that a trap? That might have been a tap of jar. I don't remember what it was. There might have been a, a pterodon, but either way, it was low level. Can we nuke yet? There we go. All right, so. How many levels we got off of that? 61. 106. Okay, I had a little lag. So 106. Let's go ahead. And, let's just pump it into into melee for for experimental purposes. We know we're doing a little over a thousand with our regular pick. We're doing a little over 700 with the breath weapon or laser beam, whatever you want to call it. So that guy. Had 106 levels pumped into it. Let's see what we do now. We'll do it on the alphas because it's that way it's at least a ooh 23. That's nice. Do we do any more topar though? That's the biggest question. Uh yeah. See we doubled topar. We're at like a little bit 33. Now we're at 69. Probably close to 70,000 topar. That's insane. So 
Now let's see what this, uh... Oh, 1,500. So we basically doubled our damage just now. So it, if the tow bar doubled on the original tank, and that was up to 70 now, which was like 33 before, might have been closer to 35, just we didn't see it, but... So if this one did over 400,000 tow bar with the total length of the breath, are we doing close to 800,000 now? That could be a thing. And that's insane, if that's the case. Considering 2,000 damage is a bad, because, uh... I thought we might just annihilate things with this this breath weapon. You can't stop it when it, when it starts, so... I kind of just gotta let it run its course, or adjust the beam as to where it goes. But, that was my main concern. I was worried about killing something when trying to tame it, but... If we get just a single one up uh, high enough, we just hit things one time and shouldn't kill it and it should knock things out because it's going to be pretty OP too. So let's see. Let me find them green, them green snakes I'll tell you about. Here's another Tapajara out here. What level are you? That's a 460. We could tame him as a backup. What's your Topar at? So free of using that laser beam on accident. Seventy nine thousand. Let's uh let's hit this guy real quick. We'll use him as a backup. We'll tap him. One time? Yeah, one time he's out. Nice. So he did more damage against that guy there because he wasn't an alpha, I guess, but I need some prime. That's good enough. And we have a tame XL also we can put in there. So that use that. Tame him up. So now we'll have a backup that'll be a pretty good respectable level too. Um, wasn't as high as this guy because this guy was a level 500 before we uh, we tamed him, but a 460 that's now a 689. That's pretty good. So let's see. Let me see if I can find them green snakes out here. Uh, I might. I kind of want to pump more speed. I thought I was doing pretty good with speed, but. Just the map is so vast and it's so big. Here we go. Here's them green snakes. These guys here, man, their topar attack is uh, pretty hard. It hits pretty hard. So is it 85,000 health? Yeah. You see, I hit one of them things. It says he only has, what was it, 2,500 topar? I remember I hit him with a trike and the trike was doing like 10 12,000 I think tow bar and it did not phase this thing at all like it barely took any tow bar damage it seemed like but yet it was able to knock my trike out almost instantly at least if we just nuke him oh I got the my spyglass up again here we go nuked him Kidding. Okay, he doesn't drop anything else special, I guess. Oh, he's still alive. Okay, let's let's keep looking in there. There we go, level 80. Uh, no, just raw meat and prime, nothing special. But there's there's an island out here I can take y'all to since we're out here and uh, show you. Well, here's the regular old Drake's. There's another poison. If you want to poison tap a jar, this is definitely a place to go. Come out to the desert, man. Because, uh, that's the third one I've seen. Two of them I've tamed. And then I see that guy. And there's the drakes. So. We got fire wyverns. We've got poison wyverns. We got lightnings in there. 560 fire. So, I wonder if you can tame these. What is that one? That's got to be an alva? Yeah, Alpha Fire Wyvern. Look at that. I wonder if you can tame these or if you have to get the eggs and hatch them. It'd be nice if you could just tame them because uh, that would be cool. I bet some of these guys do some damage. Like that Alpha Fire Wyvern? Oh, he's only got 22,000 health. There are some other Alpha Wyverns on here that I've seen. Oh, look at this guy. He's a lightning. 380. Okay, I gotta stop getting distracted. I'll tame, I want to tame all of them, all the elemental ones, just for experimental purposes. But, uh, but yeah, there's an alpha wyvern, just a regular alpha wyvern, he's kind of glowy, just like the other alphas that we've come across. 
and there's a prime wyvern so I definitely want to get a couple of those one of each of those um, I got that spyglass up again I gotta stop doing that uh, or at least change it off the the three button because I always hit that thing even on accident just the way the hotkey is and then I can't use my breath weapon because the spyglass is up I can't shoot it let's see so this looks like where they're all hanging out at this area here let's do a quick little fly in and see I've seen, a, I've seen an alpha right over here is it that same one? Oh, they don't like me they don't like me Ah, oh, he's so pretty oh crap he's hitting me ah, let's get out I don't think I'm doing getting hit for a lot of damage but <laughs> yeah, I'm being chased all right yeah I got to pump more speed on this guy if I'm gonna outrun these because uh oh crap there we go I was only a 60 he looked cool though what are you though guy he looks awesome but he's taking a lot of hits he was a 620 so wow it, those guys take a lot of uh what a, oh my other one's attacking too on my shoulder that looks cool I was see him you see him attacking a little laser beam little mini laser beam I was wondering what that was okay so those guys take a lot of hits so if we want to tame one if it's possible to tame one we'll have to remember that chill out little dude you're okay um, I think we're safe right here let's pump some more meat. not safe right here <laughs> the micro raptor you're so dumb all right let's see about this now it's a uh, let's find that one island so I'm gonna find that island with all the bad hombres and then I'll be our beast all right we're back guys so I was out here looking for bad hombres to kill and whatnot and uh, I haven't really found a ton I mean you got some of these guys here but I'm doing over 6,000 now per tick on the lightning beam and I'm doing over 4,200 on a single peck so and I'm not pumping anymore I got about 230 something 240 points I believe in this melee I lost track so I don't want to pump anymore because if you know if you go over 255 it resets their melee but there is this guy right here and I want him level 500 elemental lightning tapajara and I want to say his topar wasn't too high considering uh, 86,000 I should be able to hit him one time knock him out and then I do have one more Team XL on me and I have Prime of course so let's go ahead and do this real quick hopefully my uh my guy is gonna be smart that's on my shoulder and not be a butthead and kill him on accident so I gotta do this quick so nothing attacks me because he will start to do his thing because I didn't switch him to passive and that's my fault but all right, cancel. <laughs> du, 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 du. All right, and now we're gonna go ahead and do the cool thing. He's 749. That's awesome. He's so yellow. I like it. I'm gonna call him Banana. <laughs> banana. Something banana. Something with banana. I got to. Uh, electric banana. I don't know. I'll call him something with banana, just cause. So, but you put teleporters down nowadays. There's this uh this thing now. It's called a remote teleporter so that's in your hand and you left click and it brings up this interface and that's every teleporter that's part of actually on the server we could do it to where it's tribe only but um, that's on the server so we're going to go to base beach and you have to keep it in your hand if you take it off your hand while you're teleporting the graphic will happen but you will go nowhere so uh, stay there away uh, watch I'll do that real quick and I'll show you we'll go ahead and we'll just teleport to like platform 2 but we'll go ahead and take it off of our hand this will go and do its thing but we go nowhere because we didn't leave it out so I have to leave it out in order to teleport that guy's not, not too bright 
Come on, over here. There you go. Find your place to land. So, we got some cool teams today. I'm not gonna level that guy up on camera. I'll do it off camera and uh, we'll compare this guy to that guy. Are you gonna land on me or do I need to put a saddle on you to get you to land? I have to put a saddle on you because uh, you might be a little stupid. Let's go ahead and do this. There we go. And land. Good job. I'm so proud of you. Alright, and we still have this guy. Stop following me. Alright, and you need to land too. So we've got three really cool mounts today. Two poison tapajaras and one of the elemental lightning ones. So, um, I do want to get a fire. That will be a thing that we will try to get. Just to have all three types. But, uh... Now, I don't know if there's an alpha type of drawer or not, but there's a fabled one, I believe, and uh, we'll definitely want to pick up one of those. So, definitely gonna do a lot of taming because this mod pack has a ton of different, different uh, dinos that you can tame in it for sure. But we have some cool dinos, guys. We really do. Just looking at all that. Look at those three. Yeah, it'll be so nice. I'll level them up off camera. The spare will be level, but he's going to do the same as that guy there. I'll level this guy up. We'll tell you what he does compared versus the, the poison one, because these eyes do uh, topar attack as well. And uh, we're going to end the episode there, guys. So, a lot of fun taming today. Uh, some cool dinos. We do have that prime mantis in the back we have to level up. So, I uh, didn't catch it on cam, but we'll level it up and do that and show you guys what it does as far as DPS or damage and uh, how lethal it is as a prime. So, but that's the end of the episode. If you uh, like the episode, guys, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos you see fit. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.